this video, we will be demonstrating derived column transformation in mapping data flow activity of Azure Data Factory. So, as usual, I have created the input and the desired output data set over here as an example. So, here you can see the data set is having four columns, year, name, country and age. Okay. And we have to get the output as shown. So, I let you know what all changes we can do with the derived column transformation. So, here you can see the name. Okay. The name column is having the name. And suppose there is a requirement that we have to convert the names into our case. Okay. So, we are making changes into the existing column value. Okay. So, you can see the upper case uh, uh, change over here in the output data set. Next, we are having null values or blank values in the age column. You can see for two of the rows. So, for this purpose, we are replacing the null values with a value known as uh, value called as unknown. Okay. You can uh, take it as NA or anything by your choice. Okay. You can uh, replace the nulls with a uh, value. Okay. Next, let's say uh, I have to add a new column also. Okay. Uh, in this existing data. So, we can create a new column. Uh, I have created here as today's date. Okay. So, in today's date, like I have uh, used the current date as a new column. So, here, uh, what does this derived column transformation perform for us? It performed like it created a new column. It like replaced a null value in the existing column to a user defined value. Then, uh, an existing column, we can apply some uh, function. Okay. Like here, we have used upper uh, in the name column. Okay. Uh, let's go to the uh, uh, official documentation page of uh, Azure. Uh, so, this is the page uh, from Microsoft Derived Column Transformation. It says, use the derived column transformation to generate new columns in your data flow. So, in our data set, the new column here is today's date. Okay, an extra column. Then, uh, we are or we can do modification onto the existing fields. So, existing modification, what we are doing? We are converting the name into upper case. Okay. And then existing null value into a user defined value. So, we are doing this. So, let's uh, uh, do it into the portal. So, let's go back to, first of all, we will see uh, the input file, okay, which is uh, which will be used for our like transformation. So here this missuniverse.csv is the file. Let's preview it. So it is having the columns, four columns, year, name, country, age. Okay. And it is having these fields, same as uh, mentioned in the data set. And we have to achieve our result through this. So let's go to the data factory. So, I will create a pipeline first. So, let's name it as So, here it is derived column by line and we have to use the data flow activity. Okay. data flow okay and in the source uh, we have to get that file which is placed into our storage account so let's name it as tc source okay and the data set is there in storage account as a csv file we name it as TC input. Link service is already there. The file is having header and the path we will browse over here. So it's an ADS input. 
this is the file name which I already showed you okay click okay now okay so here it's done next is so okay leave it hmm. now <coughs> next step is to add our <coughs> derived column transformation so it, it is under schema modifier section so add it here we have added. Now we'll name it as okay, column. So it's Miss Universe MU data. You can write anything. So then input stream is uh, stream name is by default coming from the source. Okay. And here this is the section. Okay. This is the main section where we have to do the configuration. So you can see like our requirement is that we have to convert first of all the name column to uppercase okay for this purpose here you can see the column here expression so in this section we'll select the name column okay so this is the existing column which is coming from the source and here only we have to make the change as upper okay so here we know we, uh, to make it into upper there is a uh, upper uh, function over here and we can mention the column name so it is the name column on which we want to apply this function okay so here uh, data preview is not active because we have not enabled the data flow debug option we can enable it and write here only we can see the preview so save and finish and let's enable the data flow debug option okay let's wait for two to three minutes to get the cluster ready and then we can preview the data okay so here the data flow option debug is enabled and inside the expression builder we have written the expression we can preview it over here by clicking on refresh so and sometimes the data can be seen over here so the data is available you can see the incoming data was like this and the outgoing data will be in uppercase okay so save and finish now the second requirement is for the age column wherever it is having blank null values we have to replace it with unknown okay so for this purpose we click on this plus add button click on it click on add column so a new column drop down will come so we have to make the changes in the existing column which is age so we'll select that okay and then we will have uh, the expression uh, builder open it and here we will write the condition so wherever it is null take it as unknown so if okay if if is null okay what condition uh, onto what column we are doing it is age okay if the age column is having null then what we have to do is we have to replace it with unknown unknown okay value else age means the column value itself we have to fit okay if the age column is null we are replacing it with unknown else the age column whichever value is there in the column it will display so let's uh, preview the data so here uh, you can see for these two yeah last two it was having null and is replaced by unknown okay so save and finish now the third case is to add a new column okay so for this purpose we'll click on add column but here the name will be a new column name right so we will define the name today's date so here itself you can write your user defined name okay so we have just uh, created this name and in the expression it uh, builder you have to write uh, what uh, uh, function uh, you want to apply to this new column so here we are simply uh, using this uh, current uh, date okay uh, for this uh, uh, purpose so it will be just current 
date okay so current date is the function for this new column we can like preview what will come in the output column so here you can see that the output is today's date click on save and finish next we'll go to the data preview section and we'll see like how all together the columns will look like so here comes the output okay so yeah the name column is converted to upper then the age yeah wherever it was null it is showing unknown and a new column today's date is populated okay so it looks fine okay next we'll add the destination of the sink so it's mu output mm -hmm. and the location will define at the same location into the output folder so here is the dc output and service is the same file is having header the location will define inside the output folder okay click on okay Okay, so the data set is created. Next, we have the file name option. So we want it into a single file. So for that purpose, we have to enable it with single partition only. And then the file name, we want it as derived column Miss Universe Data dot CSV. Okay. And optimize it there. Let's Review the data in the sink also. Okay, the output looks fine here too. Okay. We have the name, we have the age column, and a new column populated. Now we have to publish the changes. Okay. We have it related to now we'll go to the pipeline and we can run the triggers so our pipeline is getting executed okay so see the pipeline is running let's wait for it to get completed so it shows that the pipeline got completed let's go to the output location where we have the file generated so the output was named as tcmu csv click on it edit and preview okay so yes we have the data in place the name column is converted into uppercase yes the age is showing unknown for the places where it was having null and a new column is also populated. So this is a very basic beginner level tutorial on how to use derived column transformation. I hope you liked the video. So keep learning and have a good day. Bye.